Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Wednesday morning. As always, coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, sad news yesterday, as there's been a lot of tributes out there. Uh, Mr. Gary Brooker um, passed away, unfortunately. Uh, the amazing lead singer of Proko Harum. Uh, sadly missed. What a amazing vocalist, amazing all-around musician and uh, humanitarian. So uh, I hope it's not a trend of, of uh, some artists that uh, we may or may not lose coming up. But uh, yeah, it's a sad, sad day for sure. Um, also, three days left to enter my contest. The draw is going to be held this Saturday. I'm thinking of doing a... Um, a wrap-up video tomorrow listing all the people that have uh, entered I still have to go back and, and make sure I have everyone because there's quite a few people that's, that's entered my contest which is awesome I greatly appreciate it um, but uh, yeah chance to win a $30 Amazon gift card um, five in, five albums that influenced you as a teenager theme and uh, so many great great uh, albums that uh, people have shown uh, it's remarkable. Uh, so thank you all very much. Today, I want to continue my A Great Band You Need to Listen To series. This time, um, with one of my favorite progressive rock bands. Uh, if not the favorite, that varies. But definitely, definitely up there. Gentle Giant. I've shown these guys before, but uh, I don't know who. I love this cover as well. Um, you know, it's just remarkable, this, this band, uh, only a 10 year period that they were around, but they put out such great music. And I was listening to this album last night and it's just amazing. It's just so good. Uh, what a debut album this one is. Um, got together 10 years, uh, again, uh, between 1970 and, and 1980 from London, England. Um, the music definitely is a listen. When you initially hear it, it's a listen for sure. But once it uh, once it hits you, uh, then you're hooked. You're really hooked into the music. It's complex. Each member is so talented. Each member is a multi instrumentalist. Um, they didn't really make it commercially, but uh, they had a huge, huge following, uh, and still do to this day. Um, I don't think it was their intention to be commercially successful. They just wanted to put out unique music. Uh, it didn't start out that way, but that's what it ended up being. Uh, they combine um, so many genres of music in, the, in their style. Uh, you got folk, you got soul, jazz, classical into their progressive style. And they made it their own unique style. Not too many bands sound like them. Actually, I don't think any band sounds like them. Uh, initially formed by three brothers, uh, Phil Shulman, Derek Shulman, and uh, Rory Shulman. Initially called the uh, Howlin' Wolves, um, and then the Roadrunners, and then Simon Dupree and the Big Sound, the soul and R&B band. Um, but uh, they grew tired of that style of music. Um, it was like everyone else. They wanted to be unique. They wanted to go a different way. Uh, so they put together uh, high-quality musicians amongst themselves, and they formed Gentle Giant in 1970, um, including uh, Gary Green on guitars and mandolin, amazing, amazing guitar player. Uh, Kenny Manier, keyboardist and also vocalist. Uh, drummer Martin Smith. Of course, you got Derek Sh uh, Shulman on sax, Rory Shulman on bass, and Phil Shulman on horns. Uh, vocals were shared by Derek, uh, who sings more of a rhythm and blues style. You got Phil Schumann, who more of a folk and jazz style. And uh, Carrie Manier, uh, a lighter, I don't want to say a higher voice, but a lighter voice, um, sings the more softer folk tracks and the uh, classical style songs. So three amazing uh, soul, uh, singers. Uh, singing different styles in their music because their music is all over the place. Um, their debut album, released in 1970, 
remarkable, remarkable stuff. Um, it's on the um, Vertico label. Um, I really, really like this album. It sounds so good. Um, great tracks. The opening, Giant starts it off, and then it be, just begins a journey. Bass runs are so good. Medieval harmonies. Um, it rocks when it needs to. Um, and uh, so many great solos in this one. It just Again, I was listening to it last night, and I was blown away by it. So many tempo changes. Um, just amazing, amazing album. It's, it's uh, remarkable that these guys um, weren't more commercially successful. But never, not everyone gets prog music. Not everyone gets it. And again, I was late to prog music. Um, being a classical rock guy, uh, classic rock. Um, but uh, I get it. I don't know something about it. I just get it and love it. Um, I'm missing their second album. I'll put that up there. Acquiring the Taste, 1971 release. And their third album, Three Friends. Again, and I, believe me, they're on my list to get. I'm missing another one too, and I'll talk about that in, in a moment. But uh, I'm missing three albums out of their out of their discography. But uh, definitely, definitely an album I need to get. Albums I need to get. So their fourth album, Octopus, and there's two different covers of this one. Uh, this is the UK cover. And this is the US cover. Um, this one's on the Columbia label. Probably, some say their best album. I, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It, it's, uh, it's really, really good. This is a Stephen Wilson remix as well. Um, I really love this album. There's the band there. I really, really do. It's, it's such a great, great album. Uh, they had this one. Uh, I watched uh, the Sea of Tranquility channel. And uh, they had a panel of, I think, eight people. And they were ranking this one against um, Volume 4, Black Sabbath Volume 4. And this one went out by a mile. Because there's not a wasted uh, note in the album where Volume 4 has got some different changes and it's not, real, not very well produced. I love the album, don't get me wrong. I, I think Black Sabbath, again, is one of my favorite classic rock bands um, just below Deep Purple. But uh, I was surprised that this one just blew Volume 4 out of the water. And I can see why. It's just remarkable. Uh, so it's the last to feature Phil uh, Shulman. Um, he had left after this album. One of the founding members, of course, one of the brothers, and the first uh, with new drummer uh, John uh, uh, John Weather, I believe it is, on this one. I um, hope I have that name right. Um, where's your name here? Of course, is it the back? It's not listed here. I think it's John Weather. Is it great? Pulled of the band as well. But what a great album. Just a, a, a amazing, amazing stuff. Um, I would say, again, uh, at their peak, Octopus, remarkable. Two different versions of the cover. <laughs> and then their fifth album, In a Glass House. Now, the, the cover is kind of worn on this one. You can see it's all taped up and uh, not in the best of shape, but the vinyl itself. This is on the WWA label. Uh, this is a great album as well. Um, loosely based on a concept of uh, people who live in glass houses. Uh, that old concept of, you know, be careful what you say. Um, 
the album starts off with broken glass and it ends with broken glass. But uh, a lot of people live in glass houses. <laughs> there's a lot of people. So it's a loosely based concept album and um, there's some meaning to this one and uh, it's relative to to what's happening today, but fantastic, fantastic album. I hope to find one in better shape at this point in time, but uh, glad I have it still in my collection. Uh, a cool album. This is a great one as well. And uh, I love the cover on this one. This is The Power and the Glory. Power and the Glory is their sixth album. Um, another loosely based concept album of um, people in power and how they treat the common people. Um, money and power will win no matter what. That's kind of the theme of it. Um, again, relevant to, uh, to today, what's going on in politics and all that other stuff. But um, yeah, there was some, uh, some meaning to this one. And uh, you've got the song titles, Proclamation, So Sincere, Aspirations, Playing the Game, Cogs and Cogs, No God's a Man, The Face, Valedictory. Um, again, voc uh, Derek Shulman on vocals and all saxes, Ray Shulman on bass and violin and vocals, uh, Carrie Manier on keyboards and cello and vocals, Gary Green, what an amazing guitarist. All guitars. John Weathers. Yes, Weathers. Sorry, thank you. Thank you for this album to point that out. Um, uh, on drums and also backing vocals. And um, the Showman Brothers and uh, Carrie Manier write all the songs to this one as well. But just the song titles, you know, playing the game. Um, so Sincere which is probably fake. Aspirations. People have dreams and aspirations. Just a fantastic, fantastic album. Power and the Glory. Um, this is one of their few higher charting albums. Uh, and again, a great, great album. This is Freehand. Uh, this is on the Turquoise, I guess, or Baby, yeah, it's Turquoise, Greenish Turquoise. Uh, Capital label. Wonderful, wonderful album. It's their seventh album. I also have another Stephen remix, Stephen Wilson remix of this one. Um, it sounds amazing. Really, really good. Uh, ranked at, uh, it was in the top 50 as far as the charts go. So they did, uh, I think the popularity was kicking in at that time. And, um, yeah, I've, I've kept the hype sticker on that one as well. I always try and keep the hype stickers if they're relevant to the, to the, um, album itself. Um, just the same on Reflection, Freehand, Time to Kill, His Last Voyage, um, Talibot and Mobile. Um, again, the same lineup as previously done, uh, 1975 release. Such a great album, such a great album. Uh, this next one, uh, Interview, it's a little different for sure. Uh, I would say, uh, I don't want to say it's not my favorite album. It's not not the one I, I go to a lot. This is Interview. Another concept album, their eighth studio album, released in 1976. Um, based on radio interviews, and three of the tracks actually begin with um, radio interviews. Um, it wasn't nowhere near successful as Freehand, so it dropped out as, as far as a commercial success. But um, this Gentle Giant is still in my collection. If you're a completist, like I'm trying to be, you need it in your collection. But again, it's not an album that I that I go to a lot to listen to. Um, but uh, and the the radio interviews, uh, you know, again, it's just a, it's just a a different album, and a, but another concept album. Uh, I'm missing their uh, ninth album, The Missing Piece. Again, I'll put that picture up there. 1977 release, uh, Giant for the Day, their tenth album. This is kind of a, you can actually, it's got a, 
perforated edge if you ever wanted to take that out and make a mask out of it, which I'll never do. It's on the purple capital label. Um, it's um, more of a pop rock album than it is a prog album. Uh, it's got a different sound to it. Uh, some people don't like the album because of that. Um, but uh, you can make a mask out of that one as well. But Yeah, it says, throw away your old cloak, put on your mask, be a giant for a day. That's in the, that's actually in the uh, sleeve. And uh, there's some cool photos there of the band. So you got uh, Words from the Wise, Thank You, Giant for a Day, uh, Spooky Boogie, Take Me, uh, Little Brown Bag, Friends, No Stranger, It's Only a Goodbye, and Rock Climber. Again, you got uh, the Showman Brothers, Derek and Ray, uh, Derek on vocals, Ray on bass, uh, Carrie Munir on keyboards, uh, Gary Green on guitars, and John Weathers on drums. Um, cool, cool album. And uh, yeah, everyone's a giant with their masks on up there. <laughs> it's cool. So again, cool album. Uh, cool to listen to. Not my favorite, but it's still a great album to listen to. Giant for a day. Um, one of my favorites, because it's 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 uh, probably because it's more of a heavy rock album over a prog album. Um, unfortunately, it's their last album as well. <laughs> but uh, this is Civilians. This is a great, great album. Just rocks. It just rocks. Um, it's uh, 1980 release, the 11th studio album by the band. Um, and uh, it'll be the last studio album that the band will put out, unfortunately. But um, I love the back cover as well. It's on the, this one's on the Capitol label. Um, yeah, again, it just... Uh, just a rockin' album. Um, you've got um, uh, Conveyance, Clean and Easy, All Through the Night, Shadows on the Street, Number One, Underground, I'm a Camera, Inside Out, and It's Not Imagination. But, uh, I throw this one on quite a bit. Great stuff. I also have a live album by these guys. This is 1977's um, Playing the Fool double album of wonderful live tracks by these guys. This is on their European tour. Um, the cover is a little wonky up here, but uh, it's on the Orange Capital label. Uh, you've got all their classic tracks on this one. The gatefold as well, just so good. And finally, um, this is a um, kind of a compilation album. Giant Steps, the first five years. Another double album um, of some of the music from their first five years of their of their existence. Uh, it's on the um, it's on the Vertigo label. Nice place to start, maybe, if you're getting into Gentle Giant, uh, rather than their albums. But uh, you've got uh, Giant, um, a la carte, nothing at all, plain, plain Truth, Prologue from Three Friends, Cry for Everyone, Why Not, uh, Peel the Paint, uh, Mr. Class and Quality, The River, or River, sorry, The Face, uh, The Runaway, Power and the Glory, Playing the Game, and In a Glass House. So all from their first uh, five years of their existence. And there's a cool, cool photo of these guys.
So there's my look at Gentle Giant. Definitely a band you need to listen to. Uh, a great band you need to listen to. Uh, one of the pioneers of progressive rock. Um, and one of my favorites. One of my favorites in progressive rock, for sure. Um, but uh, I think it's a band everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to get into. Uh, again, this compilation may be a great place to start. Uh, but uh, check out Civilians. Uh, check out uh, Octopus. Um, check out Freehand. I mean, so many great, great albums to, uh, to check out. But uh, there you have it, guys. Um, I'll be back again soon with another uh, look at a great band you need to listen to. I'm loving this series. It's a lot of fun. And uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.